if you are attacking like this, you are doing it wrong. Instead, turn your fissure into a machine gun by animation cancelling properly. Hey, welcome back to another Genshin Dai video. Today, I want to talk about animation cancelling on Fisho, and is it even worth animation cancelling? In today's video, we have a couple of stuff to talk about today. First of all, we're going to talk about what is the animation cancelling AARL sequence on uh, Fisho's. Moving on, we're going to talk about the DPS that you gain. Is it even worth doing this AARL sequence and how much are you actually gaining uh, by doing this animation cancel? And third, of course, I'm going to teach you guys how to properly do it. Um, and then finally, we're going to have some remark about this uh, animation cancel. The topic will be time standard below. However, I encourage you to watch the entire video to properly understand every single part and component about this AARL cancelling. I'll be uploading more Genshin guide and tips in the future. So make sure you subscribe and let's get started into the very, very first topic. So Fischl attack 5 times consecutively in her normal attack sequence. However, her 3rd, her 4th, and her 5th attack come out a bit slower because there's a hop animation. A lot of the time, people will opt to cancel the very last hop with either a dash, a charge attack, or a double tapping R. Now, however, notice the first two attack of Fischl's attack doesn't have this delayed hop animation and it come out very very quickly. And because you auto attack twice and then you double tap R to cancel, this sequence is very very often referred to as AARR sequence. So the question becomes is, can we rely on the first two shot that fire very quickly to do more damage instead of completing the whole sequence? Let's pull it to the test by bullying our favorite friend, the Cryo Fowler. Starting off with Fischl's normal attack sequence, we're able to complete two full sequences in about 5.3 seconds. Currently, my normal attack is talent level 7, meaning I was able to do 882 attack percent in that 5.3 seconds window. But that means my effective damage per second is 166%. Now, let's take a look at the AARR cancelling instead. Here in about 5.3 seconds, I was able to complete 6 sequence of AARR. Given that the first two shots have 69.8% and 74.0%, the total damage we were able to do is 862.8% or a DPS of 162% falling off just by a little bit compared to the normal sequence. Or is it? Notice how after each sequence of Fischl's attack, she moved back a little bit and in the end we moved it all the way away from the boss. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down W to cancel the moving backward animation for Fischl. Let's take a look at the comparison again. In 5.3 seconds, I was able to do 7 rotation of the AARR sequence instead. Meaning now that our total damage is going to be 1006.6% or our effective DPS is 189%. Effectively, this means that we gained about 14% damage simply by comparing the overall DPS percentage. Um, however, this does not factor in us. This brings us into an interesting topic of hit counting. Hit counting just simply means how many hit are you able to score within a certain time limit, uh, regardless of the damage each heal is doing. This is important because when you have Constellation 1 Fischl and Oz is not on the field, uh, Oz will fire a joint attack every time Fischl attack. Um, this is when every time Fischl attack, this is simply just counting off how many times Fischl is attacking. It doesn't consider how many damage Fischl are doing on each shot. This is the same for Constellation 6 Fischl, where also attack whenever the current character attack and doing 30% of Fischl attack damage as electric damage. Again, this at uh, also attack whenever Fischl attack. So the more hit you're able to score, the more Oz will attack. Pay a closer attention to both of these clips that I'm showing right now. Uh, notice that there is an additional white or purple text. Uh, that is the Oz joint attack. And notice how every time Fischl score a hit on the enemy, uh, Oz will fire a joint attack. Taking this into consideration, in the normal attack sequence where we attack 5 times uh, over the 5.3 seconds, we're able to do 2 sequence, meaning the total number of hit we're able to do were 10. However, in the AARL sequence, you were actually able to do 7 sequence, which means the total number of hit we're able to do is 14. 
when factoring C6 Fischl, uh, in the normal attack sequence, we will be able to do 1,182 uh, damage in total. Um, for the ARL sequence, however, we will be able to do 1,426% attack damage in total. So the overall damage increase now is actually going to be 20% when we consider the fact that C6 Fischl has odds. Although this is only an assumption that you can hit a 7 sequence AARL under 5 seconds. Taking a look back into the Chinese clip, notice in this clip I slowed it down, he was actually able to score 9 or even close to 10 hit in this 5.3 second sequence, meaning the overall damage increase is actually a lot a lot higher. And now for the fun part, how exactly to do it. I slowed it down the original clip with the keyboard layout and I want you guys to pay attention to the key that I'm pressing. Notice that I'm simply just spamming my left click. I'm not really timing my left click. However, I am timing my uh, R button click um, by quickly double tapping every time. You don't actually have to wait until your arrow come out to press R. You can simply just remember like a rhythm. The timing seems to be around 0.7 seconds. Uh, that seems to be the timing that I counted when I go back to rewind my clips. And so pressing R every 0.7 seconds seems to be good enough. Also, remember to hold down W. And now for everyone's curiosity, um, I tested a lot of other methods as well, including the charge cancel on uh, either the second hit or the third hit or even the fifth hit of the official attack, but none of them seems to be performing as well as the AARL combo that you cancel on the second hit. Uh, and the reason why you want to be doing this is because when you go to high level of bliss, very often you have to dodge a lot and so you can't really spare stamina for dashing to cancel. Uh, another reason is because um, in Abyss, very often you might not be able to finish your 5 attack sequence because you have to prioritize dodging. And so this AARL sequence not only doing more damage but it's just more superior overall in comparison to trying to finish your 5 attack sequence. That's it for this video guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I hope you guys learned a thing or two here including how to increase your official DPS uh, as well as the stamina management. Uh, Genshin Impact is already a very easy game but if you want to push your very limit then feel free to practice. Uh, it's gonna take a while to get used to, it definitely took me a long time before I can properly do it. And so have fun, I'll see you guys next time.